Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Please remember to hit the like button, comment below the video to help keep these cases in the algorithm. And I wanted to add that I will be going live at least one to two times a week, uh, sometimes more, because I did take over my classroom again. We did have a few teachers quit this summer so it does get a little bit tough to go live every day and every night but i will be uploading videos so i wanted to add that before i talk about allison jillian chow tonight so i'm going to share the original post of when she first went missing which is also in my facebook group So this is Allison Jillian Chow. She was last seen on ring video on the evening of July 16th, riding a blue GT mountain bike from her father's house in the 200 block of North Yens Avenue, headed for her aunt's house in San Gabriel, less than four miles away. She never arrived. Allison is Asian, around five foot inches tall, and weighs about 96 pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes. She left her home wearing a purple t-shirt, black shorts, and dark shoes, and was carrying a black backpack. Anyone with information is urged to call Monterey, Monterey Park Police at 626-573-1311. I'm gonna to try to zoom in. See if I can fix it here. So we can zoom a little bit in. There, that's her on her bicycle. And this picture is her. And I'm gonna to go to the news report. And rewind it a bit. Now to developing news tonight, we have an update on a missing girl in Monterey Park. Police found new security camera video of 15-year-old Allison Jillian Chow showing her last known location on Collins Avenue and Burr Street in Montecito Heights. She was last seen on Tuesday wearing a purple shirt and black shorts, riding a blue bike and carrying a black backpack. Anyone with information is being asked to call Monterey Park Police. I'm going to pull up a few more news articles on her case. And again, please remember to hit that like button, comment below, so that way we can keep her name out there and bring her, back, bring her home. I was reading a title while I was uh, talking. All right, let's go to this news article here. been very chaotic I mean I don't it sounds crazy but you know I didn't we don't have a play-by-play -play for this kind of stuff right what do you do as a parent you're making flyers you're you're contacting the news we were out driving around um, to anywhere there was open gas stations posting up flyers we reached out to the community my younger sister uh, took care of all the social media hitting up all the influencers you know please post help me look for my niece my older sister pulled out all of her connections at work making announcements and the community just all banded together i mean we had one person from mcdonald's who just canceled his shift it was at one in the morning i was knocking on the door please let me post this up at your facility and he did and then he's like i gotta take off work this is hitting home this is in our community and he drove around at one in the morning looking for her with me and so i just have to really think the community we, my sister put together this um search organization there must have been more than 100 people that came and they all brought their own flyers or tape to help out because we didn't know how many people would come and uh, they went to all these different cities to post and 
it's just been amazing. You know, when they say that things are really bad to look for the helpers and the community has really come together to help me look for my little girl. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And black shorts and dark shoes and riding that blue mountain bike carrying a black backpack. Monterey Police Department says they started their search at nine. This is more on the family speaking. 36 on Tuesday night when Allison never showed up in San Gabriel. Her loved ones describe her as an Asian female, approximately 5'2", weighing approximately 96 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. Her mother, Annie, who I just spoke to 30 minutes ago, talked about her efforts to find her bubbly and outgoing 15-year-old daughter. I didn't. It was really hard to comprehend. You know, I don't think your mind can understand what's happening in that moment. I just... It's been a lot of sleepless nights. I see her face. Please call me and let me know. We just want to make sure she's home safe and if people can take the flyers and share them with everybody that they know, if they can put it up in their local neighborhoods. We just want to make sure that there's enough people out there looking for her face. Investigators are asking anyone who lives along the route from Monterey Park through Alhambra to San Gabriel, specifically the overpass and underpass of the 10 freeway, to reach out to Monterey Police Department. Check your surveillance cameras to see if you picked up any footage of Allison again Tuesday, July 16th, around 5.30 p.m. Reporting live in Monterey Park tonight, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News. Again, please remember to comment below, like, share everywhere you can. And there is a Find Allison Jillian Chow updates and discussion group, which I'll put in the description. I'm going to share that, like, go through it a little bit here. See if there's anything new we can look at. So that is her flyer. That's what we just listened to. Statement from Annie Chow is, thank you again to the community for your ongoing support in the efforts to find Allison. I would like to especially thank the person who posted the photo on Saturday of Allison riding her bike past the house, which launched the biggest lead and gained the fast momentum in tracking Allison's location we've had since she went missing. I would like, I also like to send a huge thank you to the people who dedicated their time and efforts in the heat to go door to door looking for more video footage or who shared tracking via social media to spread the word of our efforts. We ask the public to please continue to search for video footage and send the, send the video footage you may have to Monterey Park Police Department. Since the police do not have an inbox, to receive the information initially, we created the AllisonChow.com website to gather information to send them. Today, the Monterey Park Police Department created an inbox to support this investigation, so any new information should be sent directly to them. You can contact the tip line at 626-307-1444 and send any footage to mpptips at montereyparkca.gov. Based upon discussions with police, the community's assistance has been and will continue to be extremely helpful to the investigation. Since Allison, was reported missing by her father on the evening of July 16th. I have been working Let me just 
share that again. Sorry, I have that one. I've been working to find our daughter and have been constant communication with the police. I learned about Allison's parents from the police at about 10 p.m. on Tuesday night. Allison's father was supposed to bring her to me on Wednesday, July 17th at 9 a.m., at which time I was to have physical custody of her. My family and I sought the community's assistance in locating Allison because we were not able to immediately find her after she was reported missing. And we had no knowledge of how she went missing. We still do not know how she went missing, where she is currently located, or if she is being held by someone against her will. My responsibility as Allison's mother is to fully cooperate with law enforcement authorities to help find her and bring her home and also to protect her privacy and dignity. I have become aware of misinformation, attacks, and threats of violence that have been posted on social media against me, my family, and even those who are only trying to help in the search for Allison. I have seen some postings that refer to there being a mom side and a dad side in the search for Allison. There should not be any sides in the search for Allison. These statements are hurtful and unnecessary distraction from what truly matters. Finding Allison the past few days have shown the strength of our community. We come together for our common purpose. I hope the community will co continue to assist us with our search for our daughter. I am intent upon carrying out my parental responsibilities I will continue to work with the police and the community to locate Allison while attempting to maintain her privacy as best as possible. Please remember that Allison is a child. I kindly ask that you do not speculate, attack, or post anything that does not assist in the effort to find her. I pray that Allison is safe and that she will be located soon. I love her and miss her. I hope you will say a prayer for her too. Annie Chow. And the, that shouldn't have to be said at all whatsoever. So guys, stop it. I'm going to save that so I can post it. So let's, you know, be grown-ups and just share her case out and make sure that her case is shared properly. And that there's no speculation or anything else Engage with empathy. Remember that. Always engage with empathy. And it is this is a child. Alright. I'm just kind of scanning to see. Hold on. Let's look at the page together real quick. Make sure that we're not missing anything. Um, I will post that flyer on my YouTube community wall. We talked about all this. The mom. I think we shared everything. Is this? We have to look at all the information. So we have all the information. So please, guys, um, engage with empathy. Share the proper information. Do not speculate. That does not help the case. And let's bring Allison home. Remember to smash that like button, comment below, and share this out. You guys have a great evening, and I love you all. Sending love and light. Bye, guys.